In this Euro Truck Simulator 2 video, we're going to do some more grand gift delivery, and this time we're up to number six. Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming, and today we're doing another grand gift delivery, and this time we're up to number six, and that will make it tier one done for Euro Trucks. So tomorrow we'll be um, off back to American Trucks, we'll do tier two for American Trucks. So where are we off to today? Well, I had a little bit of a problem getting, um, getting a delivery over at uh, Sheffield. Um, it, it just wasn't working. I, I couldn't get one. It, it was really crap. I don't know why. Um, so what I did is I uh, ended up going down to London. I teleported down to London and lo and behold, bang, I got one straight away. Which is unreal. Which we're going to Grimsby. It's just down the road really, past Cambridge uh, on the A1, M11, A14, A1 and there we go. Done. Very simple. And that, that will make it, as you can see here, we're number five of six. That'll make it number six, and that's tier one done. Tier one done, that'll be great. So let's hook right into this and get it going, shall we? Right, let's get on the road. Um, there we go, that's what I need up. Oh, trailer brake, need to take that trailer brake off. Move my drink over. I got a drink of water today after last night. Had a uh, fair bit of gaming and drinking. And oh my goodness. Need some water in the system. How did you fare up today? Since uh, for most of you, this will be the uh, New Year's. This will be the brand new year. The welcome to 2018, people. Everyone was in bed before I, <laughs> I, I turned around, everyone was up and then uh, I was playing, I was playing a game and then all of a sudden, bang, everyone was in bed and I'm like, okay, wow, that was uh, not what I expected, but anyway, these things happen. Uh, <laughs> so I was, uh, I was just, I just went, oh well, I kept playing and then I just, I fell asleep, so I thought, oh well, I better go to bed, so that's what I did. But I went into the year playing video games, which is what I like to do. I'm going to go because otherwise I'm going to sit here all day. And we're just going to go after that car. There we go. And this should be a nice hop, skip and a jump. 30 we got to go through here. Is it? Oh, 48. And uh, thank you to Rahim as well for confirming that yes, they do have rain in uh, London. Yesterday's video in, in England, sorry, UK. Um, it rains a lot. So thank you very much for confirming that. I asked a question in yesterday's video, did the UK rain a lot? And he confirmed it. So there we go. Right. So, because uh, as you know, I'm in Australia, so we don't... <laughs> It's basically hot, 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 and hot here. That's all we get, heat. As my fellow Australians can tell you. Hottest part in Australia is, uh, I'd have to say, Darwin. That'd be bloody hot. It's up to, what is it, in the winter? It's, in the winter, I think it's about 30 degrees, 35 degrees Celsius. And in summer, it gets up to 48 degrees. Maybe 50 degrees, depending. Around that, anyway. So it's bloody hot. So if you like your hot weather, you'd love it here in Australia. For those people, I get asked a lot. A big question I get asked from people. Uh, I'm not from Australia, but I would like to come and visit Australia. Whoops. When would be the best time for me to come and visit? Well, my answer to that is probably winter. For most people in uh, who come to Australia, if they come in the summer, they absolutely cook. I gotta go down a gear. 
Uh, they cook if they come in summertime, so um, yeah, definitely winter time, guys, would be the best time because at least our temperatures they get up to uh, in in winter time they get up to 25 degrees, so at least it's a little bit more comfortable for you. It's probably about your summer, most people's summer temperature, is what it is. So, which is good for most. Like, I think I've said this before on a video, but I once saw some Polish people, they came to Australia, uh, I think it was last year, in the dead of summer, in the middle of summer, and they were there, they were white as a ghost, I thought they were sick, but they were Polish, and um, they were sweating, like no tomorrow, their shirts were soaking, and, and they were just, oh, oh, it's like, oh my god, it's so hot. <laughs> uh, and it was like, oh, these poor people. They really need to go into air conditioning, you know, with minus uh, degrees. <laughs> oh, dear. What's that, six high? Yep. Yeah, it'll sit nicely on that. Ah, but um, yeah, look, I've had a really good time these holidays. Just spending a lot of time with uh, the family. We're watching movies and all sorts of stuff that we love to do. Playing games, you know, having a lot of fun. And then um, we got, uh, let's see, mod reviews will be starting very soon. Probably next week, middle of next week, I'll, I'll start doing them again. Um which you know that's that's a lot of fun and uh, I did have a comment I did read a comment where somebody was saying oh senior you're gonna have to double up on the videos the the uh, uh, grand gift delivery videos well uh, no what I'll do is I'll just record uh, a whole heap of them in advance and I'll just put them out every day and when I do a video a mod review video uh, I'll just add that on so I'll double up that day so when there's a mod review that's going to come out, so so yeah, I'll I'll still keep up with the mod reviews, and we'll also have the uh, grand gift deliveries as well. So uh, I won't run out of days. I'll I'll have this definitely done well before the end of time. So we should have the whole 24 of them done well before it's due. So which is good. It's really really good. So uh, let's see, today we've got another 12, so 13th. By the 13th of uh, this month, we should have this done. Plenty of time, 10, 10 or so, 11 days before it's meant to be done. So I am not by any chance going to be missing out on, on this one. This is the one that I love. Throughout the whole year, I go, oh, I can't wait. I hope there's a Christmas one. I hope they're doing a Christmas one this year. And yes, they did. Right, we're good on fuel. Um, what's the speed limit through here? Oh, we're good. Yeah, 97, we're doing 90. So we're all good. Um, let's have a look at the grand gift delivery. 23 tons again. There we go, gifts 23 tons. I thought it was 19 tons, it's 23 tons. So there we go, nice and easy. Did you like the way that I did yesterday's video? I did it a little bit differently. Like, uh, I, I have, uh, I generally get a fair few bloopers throughout my videos. Not all, not every video has one, but um, sometimes when I do bloopers, it's like just blooper after blooper after blooper after blooper after blooper, and I'm just trying to do my, my normal video, and I can't do it. It's crazy. So, um, that's why I thought, well, look, let's just put one in there. <laughs> and that's what I did at the end. Because I got tongue tied and it's just like. <laughs> so I just put it into a uh, video. Uh, Junior was saying that I should have done. I uh, made it into like a, a song or something with me going, you know, doing the sound effects and it going to the beat, which, you know, would have been pretty funny actually. But I'm not 100% sure how to do that. <laughs> so uh, I'm. Look, I'm okay at editing uh, my videos. Uh, but 
I'm not very good. I wouldn't classify myself, classify myself as very good. Okay, so um, I'm hoping uh, that Junior next, well this year, sorry, this year he's going to be studying media, which means he'll be able to edit. We're hoping that he might learn some tricks from that and uh, we'll be able, he'll be able to teach me how to do it or he'll be able to do it for me, you never know. Maybe I can learn how to edit a bit better. Because I just, what I do is with programs, is I just learn how to do it just to get what I want, you know, that's it. I don't need to know all this flashy stuff. But, you know, it would be nice to have, you know, it, you know, you know, really some sort of flashy stuff in there. It would be really cool. But, um, but yeah, we just have to wait and see what happens. You never know. What is this guy doing? Mate, you're going slow. Oh, jeez. That was, that was nasty. <laughs> that nearly ended in a crunch. Oh, because the speed limit, I saw the speed limit. It changed just that split second. And so I had to sort of do something and I had to turn into the other lane just to miss that. Oh, that was close. Very close. I actually thought I was going to hit that car, but like, that must have been the skin of my teeth. Alright, just listening to the truck. Oh, we can't go over the... There we go. Ah, screw you! I see that there. It said, it said that it was 97, alright? And then all of a sudden it flicked back to 48. So I was winding up the speed to 97. And that was... Yeah, see, it's doing it again, 97. Is this the real 97 now? Or is it not? I don't know, but I got a damn speeding fine again. Bloody speeding fines. Always getting a speeding fine. Just a lead foot. See, in game, in game I always get bloody speeding fines. I don't know why. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, all right, what else? Well, uh, what else has been happening? Um, what a great deal, really. Just playing games and blah, 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 and that sort of thing. Back to work again for me tomorrow. I've had my days off. So, uh, back in the truck. Be doing my usual routes. Driving around the place doing deliveries. As you do. I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm hoping that this year I'm, I'm promised that uh, I'll be getting another truck. So, and a new route. Well, whether that happens or not is a different story. I don't know. But we'll see. It could be early this year. It could be mid next year. This, you know, this year. I don't know. Who knows? It just depends on how the chips fall. It may not even happen. So I'm just trying to keep my um, ears open. And if I hear anything about it, then great. If I don't, well, you know, these things happen. But I know it's going to be busy when I go back. Oh, man, tomorrow's going to be busy. I know it. And uh, it's going to be really really heavy loads I know it and I have to I don't actually get a forklift to load my truck I have to manually load my truck so uh, some of the cages they weigh up to 400 plus kilos so that's pretty heavy you know for a cage and you're pushing it into the truck and pulling it out of the truck so it's not like it's uh, you know only a you know, 50 kilos or 100 kilos or something in a trolley. No, no, it's a big trolley. Uh, the trolley itself weighs about 50 kilos. 
so you know that's pretty damn heavy right we're turning off here we up to Sheffield already not Sheffield um Grimsby already wow Grims Grimsby it says well okay we're turning this way but it says Grimsby was that way never mind And we're turning here. As long as the GPS knows where it's going, because I certainly don't. Cambridge, Grimsby. Right, well, Grimsby is this way, so. 80 through here, so. We'll just go with this truck up front and just sit behind him. Santa must be that behind with his gifts that we're having to deliver them after Christmas. I only thought about that just now. He'd be, uh, wouldn't he be getting into a bit of trouble? And what about those kids that don't believe in Christmas because they've got a different religion? Do they get Christmas presents? Don't know. It's weird. Right. Um, I know that if you're naughty, you get a lump of coal. Did you get a lump of coal for Christmas? Makes for good fire. So it's always got a use. Lump of coal may look big and black and no good, but, you know, makes for... Get into damn gear. Makes for good, um... Cook makes for good, um, warming up in winter. 80. You've got to keep an eye on that speed limit. Listen to that, listen to that Scania V8. It's very good, I like it. Actually, I just thought about that. I've used this three days in a row, haven't I? Oops. Oh well, sorry guys. <laughs> I, I just like this truck, I like driving around in it. I could probably do the whole lot in this truck. really good to drive I like it a lot better than the old Scania's 80 still just keeping an eye on that trailer I know it's only a small trailer but still keep an eye on it just to make sure that it's doing the right thing not going too far out of the lines There's some fuel, we don't need any. Do, 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 do. And... What else we got? Is that the destination? No, I think it's up that way, so it's very close. So we have a look. How far have we got? Oh, we've only got 28 kilometres to go. So not far at all. I stuffed that gear change up. There we go. These things happen. I'll just keep it in this gear as we're going down the hill. It's 
let the gearbox do all the work. Uh, 80 through here though. No, that's alright. Getting the damn gear. I'm having gear issues again. I have to admit that the gears are not the same. Uh, the G27 uh, is not the same as a real truck. Okay, the gearing is different. So, if you're wondering why I have trouble shifting in this game, it's because I'm expecting it to do. I'm expecting to feel something in the gearbox and it's not there. Another speeding fine! What the hell? What is going on in this world where there's so many speeding fines? I'm not coming back to uh, to the UK. That's it. Next time we're going to uh, we're going to go to somewhere else. We'll go somewhere else in UK. That's terrible. More speeding fines. <sighs> Be better off just turning them off. I think sometimes. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got a green. There we go. Isn't that nice? Yeah, one of the things that uh, it is harder in, uh, well, I'm actually finding it harder to drive it in in game now than in real life. So, you know, when I was um, driving in game before, before I you know, got my license, it was uh, seemed quite easy, but. Uh, I don't know. It just seems... Oh, I think it's harder now. But anyway. Doesn't matter. We'll just uh, get it done. Get the job done. Don't make excuses. Just get the job done. And I'm just going to go out the gate a little bit. And it needs to go that way because I'm way out. I should have um, had the trailer straight to where I was going to park it before I backed it up. It does make it a lot easier. But um, I didn't. There you go, just made it a bit harder for myself, that's all. Can't see much that side. And there we go, that should be it. There. There we go. Trailer trailer brake on. Make sure you put that trailer brake on. And jump on the outside. And we'll drop that trailer right there. Good as gold. And that should be tier 1. Tier 1 for... For uh, Euro Trucks. Ba ding There we go. And we'll go back to here. Yes. Yes it is. That is tier 1. Now, just for those people who um, are curious as to what you get, what happens, when you go to your profile, it comes up like this and says, ah, achievement unlocked, see? Grand gift delivery, blah, 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 blah. And then you go over to your, um, sorry, you go there and you go over to your events, you click on events, and it comes up and it says, uh, that you have Grand Gift Delivery Tier 1 Reward. So there's my... Um, is that Euro Trucks, that one? Oh, there's the American Truck one, which I've already claimed. There's the Euro Truck one. Ah, it says I haven't redeemed it. No, there we go. There we go, redeem that. So you can redeem that on Steam. You just click on that and you know log into Steam and whatnot. So 
Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Well, and that will give me, um, that'll give me, you know, some of that, you know, Christmas stuff and blah, 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 you know, all the really cool stuff. So, uh, when we go into Euro tr American trucks tomorrow, we'll have a look at that stuff that we actually get, got last time. So, uh, it is pretty cool. I have got some of it all set up. So, very good. But, uh, Euro trucks tomorrow, guys. So, we'll do some of those. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's little drive in uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 where we did some of the grand gift delivery, which is really cool. You can turn off now, truck. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. I love these events. I love them. I really do. And now we're off to Tier 2, which is going to be a lot of fun. But guys, if you like this video, then don't forget to punch that like button in the ass. And if this is the first time you've seen Junior Cine Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Cine Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out. And while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button. But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.